If it's a little V, it's plain. If it's a little bump, it's pearl. It's really simple. Grab your needles and I'll meet you back here. Hello knitters, I'm Marion from Love Crafts. I'm gonna show you how to work a very simple two by two rib. Now this is the beginning of the fabric of a sweater or a cardigan or socks, and it creates a really, really stretchy fabric just using plain or pearl stitches. We're gonna start off doing the first two stitches as a knit stitch. So remember your knit stitch, garter stitch, needle in, slightly down to the right, yarn around, bring it under and off, and we go yarn in, sorry, needle in, yarn around, under, and then off. Now those are your first two knit stitches. Now, the next two stitches are going to be purl stitches. And to do that, instead of having the yarn behind the needle here, we're going to bring it in front of the needle. So you're bringing your yarn in front. Um, and then we're going to put the needle in upwards. So you know when you do a knit stitch, you put it in downwards. When you do a purl stitch, you put it in upwards. So we've got the yarn in front and the needle pointing upwards into the purl. And then we're gonna take the working yarn, bring it round the needle, and very similarly, take it down, under, and off. And we're gonna do that again. We've got the yarn this side of us in, in front of the needle. We put the needle in upwards, bring the yarn around, then we take it down and slide it off. And then I'm gonna put the yarn back around the other side of the needle, behind the needle, which is the what you use for knitting. And can you see here, we've got two little Vs and two little bumps. So that's two planes and two pearls. So the next two stitches are going to be plain stitches. So we go in under the needle there, yarn around, under and off. And we do the same for the second one. Yarn, uh, needle in, yarn around, under and off. And there we have our two plain stitches. Now I'm gonna bring the yarn around to the front for our pearls. We put the needle upwards into the stitch, bring the yarn around, pull it down and off. And again, another pearl, the needle upwards into the stitch. We call this pearl wise. Yarn around, bring it down and off. So I need to bring the yarn around the needle again, so because we're gonna knit. Um, and when you go into a stitch, as if you're gonna knit it, we would call that knit wise. So I'm gonna put the needle in knit wise. Then I'm going to bring the yarn around the needle, under and off. And again, needle in, around, under and off. Now because I'm going to do two purl stitches, I'm going to bring the yarn around the front and we put the needle in purl wise. So upwards, yarn around, pull it down and slide off. And then the needle goes in purl wise again up yarn around, come down, and then off. Now, I'm gonna turn this around so we can have a little look. So here we've got two plain stitches, two purls, two planes, two purls, two planes. And the plain stitches are the little Vs here, and the purl stitches are the bumps. Now, to make a rib, and I'm just gonna show you here, to make the rib, the planes sit on top of the planes and the pearls sit on top of the pearls. And that's what causes this lovely stripy effect. So, with this one here, when you see a plain stitch, then you know you're gonna do a plain stitch. When you see a pearl stitch, that's when you're gonna do a pearl stitch. So if you suddenly think, oh, I don't know which one I'm supposed to do, look at the work. If it's a little V, it's plain. If it's a little bump, it's pearl. So what you need to do is to carry on like this until your rib is long enough. So knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, and carry on. So here we are. These are our plain 
stitches, the knit stitches, the garter stitches. And these ones here are the purl stitches. And as you work along, all you're doing is knitting two plain, two purl, two plain, two purl. And on the other side, it looks just the same, the planes and the purls. And remember, the planes always have these nice little Vs and the purls always have nice little bumps. So now you've learned how to knit a two by two rib. So tell me, was it helpful with me showing you how to read your knitting? All those Vs and bumps for purl and plain? I'd love to know. Tell me in the comments and uh, maybe we could do some other kinds of rib. So now that you've learnt that brilliant skill, you can use it to make this fantastic pumpkin. Follow the next video and find out how. I'm going to show you how to learn... No, I'm not. Here we go again. This is how you use... No, no, f*** it. Right. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. <clears throat> Hi everybody, I'm Marion from Love Crafts, which I wasn't going to say, so I'll start again. Mm.